listen, bro. I'm about to go get some food. I haven't made a video for this channel in so long. Like, bro, the videos that I did make, I'm gonna put y'all over here. So, the videos that I did make was just like bullshit videos. Like, I never really sat down and talked to y'all. I don't even... Do this shit smell still? I don't know. I've been told my car smell manly. So, I'm, I'm going to keep these. You feel me? But, bro, I ain't sit down and talk to y'all in a minute. So, I'm going to go get some food. Go for a drive. Because if I just hop straight in the whip, start this bitch, and then get to talking, nigga, I'm going to go ham. Like, I'm not... My fault. But, yeah, nigga, I'm going to go crazy. Like, I'm going to... You know, this video is most definitely going to be something. For sure, like I'm, I'm a basically y'all life update, and I got a fucking vent, bro. Cause I need some, I need some outlet. I might not even post this bitch, depending on how crazy I get to talking. But you know what I'm saying? I just know I need to vent real quick. I'm gonna go get some food. Maybe talking to y'all when I get food or after. Either way I go, I'm gonna still talk to y'all regardless. So I'm gonna see y'all when I get the food or when I'm done eating the food. I'm gonna be in the car the whole time. All right, bro. So I just got done eating. I'm putting y'all over here because I don't feel like holding y'all the whole time. Holy sure shit, y'all can see me though. So look, I just got done eating and shit, bro. I ain't got no motherfucking notepad, nothing I'm about to look at. Like, I was listening to music and shit. Look at that Corvette right there. I'ma have one soon, but like, I'ma just speak, bro. I'm not about to fucking write this shit down, practice none of this shit. I know I'ma look back and edit this and be like, damn, this shit I should've said, but fuck it. Bo, so I'ma tell y'all this. Number one, so I posted a video, you know what I'm saying? And it was recently just like a regular ass video. And I got a comment that said you fell off. And I was like, damn. I knew I kind of didn't get the views I wanted and shit. And it's not even all about this, bro. I'm going to really get deep into it. So this is just chit-chat of like, oh, shit, look at that Mustang. Oh, that's an eco boost. Yeah. But, yeah, bro, I was, uh, I got a comment that said you fell off. And I don't really care because, like, I know most of y'all came from, like, my locks and shit. And I ended up cutting my locks. And now I'm just doing content that I really enjoy doing. Because I'm one underrated person, bro. Y'all just don't... Bro, if the amount of people that watch my lock videos seen my vlogs, bro, I would literally, like, bro, y'all would see who I am, bro. And most of y'all is going to see. It's just not y'all time to see it right now. Y'all not aligned with that energy yet. And that's perfectly fine. I'm going to keep doing what I want to do. Because that's what make me happy. And plus, locks, bro, I can only say so much before I keep saying the same shit. And I don't like repeating the same cycle over and over and over and over again. But I am growing freeform. So it's not like I'm, I like totally dish the whole dread gang. But I'm not finna keep making lock videos over and over. Especially for like just views, bro. I'm cool on that. I want to do something I actually enjoy. So that's just the views part. Getting that shit out the way. Content is still A1. Actually, it's better. To me, it's better. Because I have more fun. I have a humor that y'all have never seen the side of me. Y'all only see the informational side of me and shit. Y'all may have seen a little bit, but with the vlogs, nigga, like, them, they, those, bro, the 100 views I get on them vlogs, they just can't compare to the thousands of views I get on my hair videos. Like, yeah, it look good and shit, but, bro, the, the, the vlogs and editing the vlogs is fun as fuck. Like, that shit make me feel good. And I also take breaks, bro. Like, Nigga, life been life, and that's what I would respond to. I said, check my second channel, but life been life, and bro, shit be happening. But I'm most definitely on my car channel, you feel me? I'm doing that, trying to get that one up. It will get up. I was always the kid in high school, like, man, I don't care about none of this. I'm not about to let life smack me in the face. I don't care about you talking about what is YX plus MXB, whatever the f Bro, you know that trash, bro. I'm looking at that shit like, bro, I don't care what this teacher's saying right now. I'm not about to let, let life smack me in the face, whether if it's financially, mentally, or anything. But, bro, you might be in that same position. Chase your goals, but, nigga, no matter what you got, bro, you gonna get smacked in the face, my nigga. Like, life life happens, bro. I don't even know how to explain this shit. Everybody got their own journey. Different answers, different questions, different times, everything, bro. Life is gonna happen to you regardless. And what I mean by life is just obstacles gonna happen, like... You can have all the cheese. You might have some mental uh, things to go through. You feel me? Like, it's always some shit, bro. It's, it's always going to be something, my nigga. So, for me to say, which I was very naive to it, you know what I'm saying? When you were younger, you hell out naive to a lot of shit. And I'm still naive to a lot of shit right now. I'm only 19. Damn, I'm 20. Damn, I'm 20. Damn. I mean, 20 still young, but shit, like, I'm 20. So, that shit is crazy just to say that shit. Like, I'm 20. Cause I was dead ass just in high school. Like, bro, I was just in high, I was just in high school, bro. 
Like that shit is crazy as fuck. And I just bought this car in February. Now the year is over with, it's like, damn, I literally just got this car. But that's besides the point, bro. I've been wanting to say this shit for a minute, like actually talk about this video, cause I noticed that my uh my audience is not the same. But the ones that do watch, bro, y'all y'all know. I appreciate y'all. Y'all the most consistent ones. Y'all know. Y'all fuck with me for who I am. And not for what I can just do for you. Even though at the end of the day, this is all for like entertainment and shit. Yeah, bro. Recently, I ain't gonna lie. I've been trying to get back on this shit. But like, bro, I don't know. Like, I just been, bro. I feel like for me to get on a camera consistently, I got to be right in real life. Because at the end of the day, this is how I'm thinking of it. May not be the best way to think of it. I genuinely just don't give a fuck. Like, this is just how I'm thinking of it. You across the whole states. Like, you did ass and what, like, I'm going to just say you in Florida watching me, bro. You only know me to the extent of your phone. And that's only to the extent that I allow you to see. You know what I'm saying? When you put your phone down, you look up, it's a whole new real world right in Like the real shit is right in front of you. You never know what goes on when this camera literally turns off. Like you don't know about the times I sit in my room just thinking, looking at the ceiling like, damn, how I'm gonna figure this out? How I'm gonna do this? How I'm gonna do this? How I'm gonna do this? You know what I'm saying? Figuring out shit, like trying to figure out my life. How many times you sit in, the, how many times I sit in the car and I'm just like, damn. I'm talking about I get home, I sit in the car for about minimum, bro, minimum 30 minutes every day. Minimum. Before I even turn the car off. Like, minimum. It may not even be music playing. Like, I just sit in the car minimum because that's for like, you completed the GTA mission and now it's like, you just sitting there like, damn. I'm chilling right now. I'm going to take this time before I go inside. Because when you go inside, you know what I'm saying? You got to say what up to the fam and shit. Bro, life been lifing, nigga. And for me to just pick up a camera and act like nothing be happening, I can't do that. I don't want to bring y'all that type of content and that's why I don't post that much anymore because recently I have been feeling more so negative rather than the positive, you feel me? Once a video comes, yes, of course, it's, it's good vibes. But for me to do it consistently, I have to feel good. Like, I have to, like, continuously feel good because I don't want to bring y'all negative-ass energy videos. And I've been wanting to get back to this shit, bro. Like, I miss it, bro. I really miss waking up, meditating, and getting straight to a video be done at, like, 6, 7 a.m., then I have the rest of the day, whether if I want to make another video, plan out my day, plan another video, go outside. Like, I always, I was real organized and shit. But, like, you get older, bro, and then, like, you have more responsibilities and shit like that, bro. Some of my fucking lip. And at the end of the day, you got to figure it out. I'm going to tell you all this, bro. YouTube only pays once a month. Those rest of the 30 fucking days, bro, if you ain't making that money on, like how, you know what I'm saying, you ain't making the big bang bucks, bro, keep grinding. It's going to come. But if you ain't making them big bang bucks, bro, you got to figure this shit out. And I know I was never the type to really be like, I want a job and all this shit. But sometimes you got to do what you got to do, bro. Like when I got this car, I had a job. I was happy as fuck. You know what I'm saying? But then shit like life, bro, life happens. I don't know how, but I'm going to just keep it a buck. My checks got short as fuck. Like management got trash. Checks got short as fuck. And I'm like, bro, I need another job. You know what I'm saying? I trusted somebody else. And when their word and shit showed me everything. And I ended up spending all my savings that I had for my 5.0 at the time for this car. Then I was left with no cheese because, like, it was a commission thing and all that shit. That's a whole nother thing. Basically, I'm, I was just drop, jumping job from job, which I still am doing now, trying to figure this shit out. And, bro, like, you just got to add on, like, got, having to eat, fucking drink. All this shit, like, I got a roof on my head, clothes. It may not be the clothes that I want or the clothes that I, like, you know what I'm saying, have in rotation that I want to have as many clothes. But I got clothes that I can wear every time I go outside. I got a car. I got reliable transportation. So I ain't complaining about that at all. But you always want more, especially when it's given to you. Like, my family pay for that shit. I pay for the car, but my family pay for, like, the house and all that shit. I want to pay for my own crib. I want to pay for their crib. So me trying to figure this shit out at 20 is, like, Stressing me the fuck out, to be honest, bro. And then you got to tie in other shit. Like, you have connections with bros that you fall out with. You make new connections, have new experiences. Shit just be happening. Even relationships, bro. Oh, my God. If you young, bro, I don't even want to say don't mess with nobody. Because, like, you're going to have your own experiences. But just, just stay focused, bro. No matter what, make sure you put yourself first. Don't lose self-respect for yourself. Don't be letting too much shit slide. Because these recent months... Ever since I, no, not months, weeks. Ever since I left Cali, bro, K 
came back here, shit's never the same. And y'all see, y'all can watch the video before this. I was talking about I don't want a job, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna figure this shit out, like I'm about to grind. Bro, I've been in, like, I haven't had a job since, right? But I've been making money with my detailing and shit like that. So money's always gonna be provided no matter what, if you keep faith in what you believe in. Recently, like, even with relationships and shit, bro, that shit'll throw you off so much. That's, I ain't even gonna cap. Keeping it a buck with y'all in 2021, that's the whole reason I didn't fell off. Messing with a girl, bro. And she didn't, she didn't mess with my head and shit, got me off my track. And I've just never been back on track. I've tried, I've been on it a little bit, but once you get it, like, you go through your new situations and shit, you get thrown right the fuck back off. So right now, it's like, I'm in a position, hold on, we about to get a little personal, bro. I know this video long as fuck, I didn't mean for it to, but like, I got a vent, like I was telling y'all. So, went through a little situation and shit. And now I'm just on the, I'm in a mode where I can't feel nothing right now. You feel me? I'm hella nonchalant to shit. Like I block my feelings off to a lot of shit. And it's cool. You're not really that type of person. And you know, you don't really care. But like when you come from being an emotional man that once cares so much, it's like, God damn, you really see yourself going through these phases of just being like becoming more dull and more distant to your friends and just everybody. You feel me? Even family, bro. It's like to the point, bro, I used to like, I went over to my grandma house. This is what kind of got me. I went to my grandma house like two days ago, two, three days ago. Bro, I couldn't even really have a conversation, bro. Like, I was just, I was not there. Like, I just, I was, I felt so disconnected and shit. And I've been so, like, I've been alone for a few days, for like a few weeks, a week or two. Probably had went out once, like with friends. Bro, I just noticed I've been getting so angry. Like, I don't like people and shit. Like, I'm very distant from people, but like, I've been getting real angry like i always be like i don't know the stuff people like the way people brains is wired is just very not the way mine is and it, it kind of frustrates me and bro i just been getting real fucking angry like i i don't know what's going on i never really i was always a little angry dude but i got far from that work to get like get away from that shit now it's like i'm going right back to it you know what i'm saying but instead of me just lashing out, because I'm really at that point where I'm about to la like I'm I'm about to lash out. Like I'm at that point where I'm about to just go stupid. Disrespect people. Like I don't even want to do all that shit, bro. Like I really don't want to do all that shit. So I just distance myself from everybody. That's what I just been doing. Just been distant by myself. I always been like alone, but I've really been like in my room, no music, sitting in the dark, just me and my thoughts, trying to figure out who I am, what I want to be, what I want to do. What makes me happy, what make me, just figuring out who I am, you know what I'm saying? So for me to, let's just get back to this. For me to pick up a camera is not on my mind at all. Like, maybe in the future, it is. But right now, it's not at all. Unless I'm on my second channel talking about my car. Because that's what makes, that's one of the things that make me happy. But just to get on this camera, fake a vlog for y'all, or just do a hair video is like, it's not one of my best standpoints right now. Maybe in the future it will be, but right now, I can't do that shit. I gotta figure out what I wanna do in my life, figure out who I am. Cause that's one of the hardest things. Like people be like, who are you? Or like, tell me one thing about yourself. And I'm like, mine just go poof. It's like, I don't know what to say. And I, it's, I'm cool with me not knowing what to say cause I'm limitless. I know I have no limit. So for me to put a definition on who I am, it's only going to print in my subconscious mind that I'm limited to what I just said. But meeting new people, like, imagine you have, like, the opportunity. Let's just talk, you know what I'm saying? Like, system-wise, you have an opportunity of a lifetime right in front of you. And they like, you know, sell yourself. Tell me about you. What, what's your strengths? What do you feel like you need to work on? You know what I'm saying? Tell me about this certain situation. And you don't have nothing to say. They walking right past you, bro. There is no, no second chance, bro. They walking right past you onto the next person. And I don't want that shit to happen to me. But, bro, if y'all want more in-depth shit, just let me know. I know I'm just cutting this shit off. I'm about to go drive. Probably get some Starbucks. I don't know, bro. But, yeah, bro. I, shit, man, life be happening. That's that's. Really, I can't explain the fall off, nigga. You call it what you want. I, I'm having more fun on YouTube when I do come on and have fun editing and shit. Like the passion is still there. It's just life, bro. Life be life, and like shit just be happening. And I can't just stay on the camera all the time and act like I'm happy when I'm not. Not that I'm saying when I'm on camera, I act like that's genuine shit right there. But I won't fake it to y'all if I'm not feeling good. And that's really all it is. I'm trying to get back, you feel me? I'm getting, like, I'm literally getting forced by some energy to just force me to be alone right now because it's causing me to not feel shit. Like, I'm I'm hella numb to everything, like, damn near everything. Like, I'm really cool. Like, it is what it is, but it's not a positive it is what it is. It's more so of, like, whatever the fuck happens literally happens, and I'll figure it out. 
and that may just be the reality of things but if i know i can make a change it's gonna happen you feel me and that's that's what i'm getting forced to do make a change and that's why I've been alone for a minute. I haven't even popped out for real. Like, bro, I, I don't even really gotta explain all that shit. But if y'all more like this journey or more like videos of what's going on, I can even give y'all some advice when I have some. But always put your mental health first, bro. Fuck the cheese. Fuck, like, bro. Whatever you perceive makes your reality. And me hearing that, like, my parents always say life is what you make it. Whatever you perceive life to be. If you can have fun with it, do it. But if you can't, bro, you just got to figure this shit out. And right now, I'm figuring this shit out. I'm in a weird-ass stage of my life right now. And I figured it out. It's just going to take some time. So that's why I've been gone. That's why I, you know, come back for a few days and then leave for like a month or two. Like, you know, shit happens, bro. 